I really should have patched that hole in the roof before it... Oh, hi! How are you? Nice to see you here in the Mask Fan Attic once again with me, Dr. Lady, here in the attic above Horror Hotel where you're always welcome to creep around at your own peril, of course, in the search for cool and interesting old latex Halloween masks. So, tonight, fellow Halloween enthusiasts and monster lovers, uh, look what we have discovered here. It's a little something created by none other than Don Post himself, Don Post Sr., way back in the early 1960s. This guy, which I don't think ever had a proper name, he doesn't think so either, but at his age he just might not remember it, because look at him. This guy I think was just called Alien or Martian. Uh, and I don't think he had a proper name. Well, it could be argued that Alien and Martian are names for a mask, but I mean, I don't think he had a, a specific character name like, you know, Lord Grimbindle's Itch of the planet Ski Wonk. I don't think he was anything like that. I think he was just Alien or Martian. Anyway, created in the early 60s by Don Post for use in uh, live spook shows, which uh, is something they used to do back in the day. Uh, kids could go to a theater and see short uh, films and um, people in monster suits would act out little skits and run out into the audience and lights would go on and off and sometimes magicians would perform and really uh, sounds like a wonderful fun thing to have been part of and uh, I wasn't part of it but I, I wish they'd bring it back but not likely in the age of uh, uh, you know blueberries and black tooths and all that kind of uh, techno stuff but anyway this guy was a space monster for those presentations and uh, he normally had a clear glass or plastic bubble over his brain uh, as far as I know the few copies that were made appear to have been painted pretty much along the lines of this one uh, light gray with a pink brain in case you're watching this on a black and white computer and you don't know that this is gray and pink with the yeah uh, oh, and by the way, those eyes that he has there, those are not part of the original sculpture. Those are just ordinary craft store eyes that I stuck in there just because I thought it would look better if he had some eyes of some sort. So I stuck some ordinary, you know, like for uh, frogs, that sort of thing. Craft store eyes right there in The Alien by Don Post. And uh, he did appear in two movies, that's right, later, after the fact. Now, he was in uh, a terrible movie from 1964 called The Wizard of Mars. But uh, I think he was just sort of a frozen, dead Martian, and he didn't really do anything, and you didn't get a very good look at him. And then he was in an even worse movie in 1965 called uh, Space Monster, a.k.a. Space Probe Taurus. And that one was uh, black and white, and in that one he actually... Uh, boarded an Earth ship and attacked an astronaut for no reason, just because he was an ornery old geezer. Look at him. So he did show up in both Wizard of Mars, oh, which is also known as Alien Massacre on video, and Space Monster, uh, yeah, in the 60s. And as far as I know, I don't believe this guy was ever put into production or sold to the public or mass-produced or anything like that, but there are a few castings still in existence, as this will attest to. Uh, they're a million years old, and they're not in wonderful uh, condition, uh, some of them. Like this guy has some has some cracking issues in the back. Uh, needs a little TLC. But hey, still pretty cool. Created by Don Post, used in two old sci-fi movies, and now it's here uh, in the Mask Fan Attic with you. And that's all till next week. Drive safely and watch out for those alien massacres.